And when it moves, you know it. Yes, you will. Amen. Amen. We greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Are you there yet? 2 Corinthians chapter 5. If you would stand with me. We're just going to read one verse out of that. And it's verse number 7. And all of us can uh, remember this by heart. It says, For we walk by faith, not by sight. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come, oh God, to expound on your word. And we thank you right now. Oh God, take control. Hide me behind your sacred desk. Let them see less of me and more of you. God, speak through these lips of clay the words you desire your people to hear. Anoint their ears right now. Not only be healed, but doers of your word. And as we stand on the wall of this gospel, we ask these blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. As you go to your seat, I, I want to talk from this subject briefly. Seeing through the darkness. Seeing through the darkness. Many, many folk, many folk uh, have not really engaged in the faith walk as they should. I, I, I want to take this because I was inspired this past Tuesday night. I went to Wayne Community College and there was a young man there by the name of Alexis Gillette. Gillette is a athlete, he's a musician, he's a songwriter, he's a person that has acquired his master's degree in English from East Carolina University. He was born in Kingston but raised in Raleigh, has a lot of relatives in LaGrange. The, uh, the, the thing about this young man, as, as I speak of him, let's develop what they call a detached retina from his eyes. First, it was his left eye. Since Vivian, they operated on it, and lo and behold, they had to operate on the right one. Lex lost his eyesight early in life, but his desire was to become an athlete. He said that he plainly did not want to just do like other blind people, be led around and play the piano and sing songs because he wanted to become an athlete. When he was growing up, before he had his operations, he said he used to jump off the bed, just run and jump. And even after he got into high school, he found out that his dream of being an athlete could be realized. Lex began to see through the darkness. And I think his story was so inspiring because too many of us, as he's put it, he said, many of us have sight, but we don't have vision. All of us can see things, but we don't have any vision beyond what we see. So Lex decided that he would go on and become what he was destined to be, and that was an athlete. Uh, many of you may have heard of his story already. Uh, he has won four medals. He's, he set the world record for the long jump, 22 feet and one inch. He set the record already in uh, the parallel uh, sighted uh, Olympics. He's right now in training in San Diego, California to compete in Tokyo, Japan. This young man is remarkable. I mean, when you stop to think about many of us are not really walking in faith. We don't see beyond our own shadow or our own darkness. We allow what folks say about us to shape what we see. 
We allow what folk do to us to shape what we become. We allow what folk will say and do and just carry our lives in the wrong direction. But I got so much inspiration from hearing this young man that I said, now you know what? We need to see through the darkness. Even though our eyes are wide open, sometimes we're still walking in darkness. I remember Jesus said in, the, in his word that I am the light, the truth and the light. If you walk behind me, if you follow me, you'll never walk in darkness. Too many of us won't give him a chance. We don't follow him because when we get sick, what happens? We don't pray. When we get in trouble, what happens? We don't pray. Come on, somebody. Y'all know what to say. I, I, I want to say, uh, 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 when we're walking by faith, that means that we don't have to, new, to use sight in order to lead us to where we need to be. Uh, I got three things here, and, and one is that in order that we walk and see through the darkness, we have to stay focused on God. Mm -hmm. uh, I got an example of that. As long as we keep our eyes on him, we can get through anything. God, it will light a path for us just to follow. I'm thinking about Brother Peter now. When Peter stepped out of the boat, okay. Peter said, I got some faith to come out here and walk on this water, Jesus. Just bid me to come. So Jesus said, come. Peter said, okay. Step out of the boat and began to walk on the water. As long as his eyes stayed focused on Jesus, everything was all right. But as soon as Peter began to look at the water dashing up against him, he began to sink. And he finally had to say a prayer, which he should have said in the boat. But he said a prayer once he began to sink. Lord, save me. Come on, somebody. Ah, we don't think about praying until we get in trouble. We, our boat began to sink. Our lives began to just go dim. And we don't rely on him to just, you know, take us through. So number one is we need to stay focused. Number two, stay positive. Oh, Y'all don't need to listen to no negative talk. You know, uh, I'm pretty sure Lex was told many times. You being blind, son, you cannot do this. But he was determined. Lex told the story that when he was in gym class, that his gym teacher told him, said, Lex, uh, I want you to just take a leap forward. Jump. And Lex said he jumped, and he jumped 10 feet just from standing still. He took a leap of faith. Right then had he said no. He would have never gone around the world to compete as a blind person. He would have never got the opportunity to win those rewards, awards that he won. Right now, Procter and Gamble is one of the people that's supporting him. He would have never got the opportunity that opened doors for him. And because he saw through the darkness, kept the faith, he is now able to do what he was desiring to do as a child. Thirdly, uh, you got to stay in the race. <laughs> uh, there have been so many folks of us, I mean, y'all, y'all, come on, I'm not the only one that have been told what I could do and what I can't do, and uh, you can't do that, you can't do this, it's better you do this, it's better you do that, but if you stay in the race, you never know what's going to happen. You can't go to the end of the track if you don't stay in the race. Huh? If you desire to get where God is, you got to stay in the race. If you desire to do the impossible, and God has already said, whatever it seems impossible to man, all things are possible with me. But you can't quit. You got to stay in the race. If you stay in the race, good things will happen to you. If you stay in the race, rewards will come. If Lex had a quit, he never would have got his gold medals. If Lex had a quit, he would never have signed a, a, a contract that's going to pay him his rightful money. 
if it will just quit, and one of the easiest things to do is quit. You don't take any energy in quitting. You just quit. You don't take no effort at all. No effort at all to just quit. If you don't want to walk no more, just quit. If you don't want to come to church no more and want God to pray, just quit. If you don't want to live no more, just quit. All you got to do is just stop. And don't stop because somebody else says so. Stop because you got it in your mind that this is what you want to do. But I'm telling you, if you stay in the race, God will reward you openly. He'll reward you with more than you could ever think. More than you could ever accomplish. More than what everybody think that they can give you. Oh, when I think about this in particular thing, seeing through the darkness. I think how Jesus came in an obscure world. He saw that this place was so dark. He understood what his mission was. He was told many times what he could and could not do. But I am here to tell y'all that he stayed in the race. He stayed focused because he was always saying, I'm not here on my own account. But I'm here to do the will of my Father. I'm here to do the work of Him that has sent me. Don't you know that you got an assignment on your life? But if you quit, you'll never find out what the end will be. You gotta know that if you hang on in there, no matter what criticism comes your way, you'll be able to stay in the race You'll be able to stay positive. You'll be able to stay focused on the life that Christ has anointed for you. God will stay with his promise. He promised to never leave you, not forsake you. But you got to hang on in there and see through the darkness. Your old devil is busy, always trying to pull the curtain over your eyes. But you got to see through it. Sickness may come, see through it. You might be broke, but see through it. You might be ridiculed, but see through it. You might be criticized, but see through it. You just need to understand with God. He's more than the whole world He is against me With him All things All things Are possible I can do All things Through Christ That strengthens me I can see Writing on the wall I can see Beyond the wall I can do strengthen me if I keep the faith he told on his hand he will not leave me he will not guide me down the wrong path but he will lead me to greener pastors I cannot tell you just how soon I will end but I can tell you if you hang in there you'll live on to see what the end is going to be. Yeah! Aren't you glad? Aren't you glad that Jesus stayed focused on his assignment? He was killed on Friday, laid in a bar or two, stayed there all day Saturday, but early on Sunday morning, he got up with all to us that he was able to see through the darkness we'll be able to see through the darkness if we just walk by faith and not by sight God will bring you out well I know time get tough sometimes it look bleak yes it do look like you just can't make it Pressure comes from everywhere. 
Huh? It might come from a family member. It might come from a friend. But you just stay focused. And just see through it. Because the test is not there to make you sin. But the test is there to give you a testimony. That if I come through it. If Jesus went through it. I can do it too. Because he is with me. Always. Amen. Seeing through the darkness. Have you all had some dark days? Come on, talk to me now. Have you really had some dark days? And you really didn't know how you were going to make it? Did he bring you through? Huh? I heard this one sign. It said behind every cloud, the sun is still shining. So don't give up on the day. Because this too will pass. Come on, stay in there. And see through the darkness. Amen. That's the morning message for you. Let us stand.